Physical activity is an integral part of a healthy community, improving health and well-being. Local, national, and international public health organizations recognize the importance of physical activity for all age groups. But as our population ages, the importance of physical activity to healthy aging, both for individual physical and mental health of older adults, and to society in terms of reducing the burden of disease and disability and the cost of healthcare, and the sustainability of the healthcare system, has a strong research basis. The health and well being of our communities is a present critical concern, as our population is aging. The baby boomer cohort started turning 65 years of age in 2011. And as this large segment of the population ages, in eight years, 6.7 million Canadians will be over the age of 65 years. And by 2031, one in four Canadians will be over the age of 65 years. The ratio of those in the workforce to those dependent or retired will be greatly reduced. This dramatic increase in the number of people over the age of 65 years will have major social, economic and healthcare implications. The Canadian Institute of Health Research Institute of Aging Strategic Plan 2007 to 2012 highlighted the profound impact that our aging population will have on our society, identifying aging as one of the most significant societal forces shaping our society over the next 20 to 30 years. To quote that document, the graying of our society will have a profound impact on individuals, communities, and social health services. And Aging will be one of the most significant social forces shaping our society over the next 20 to 30 years. In their most recent strategic plan for 2013 to 2018, the Institute placed the emphasis squarely on the health and quality of life of older Canadians, as for the first time in history, there will soon be more old people than young people in Canada. To quote that document, the impact of an aging population is being felt in Canadian society and is giving it a new face. It is, however, possible to live longer with a good quality of life by optimizing health and wellness. Presently, Canadians have one of the highest life expectancies in the world. On average, a 65-year-old man in Canada can expect to live another 17 years, and a Canadian woman an additional 21 years. However, whereas 13 of those years after the age of 65 will be in good health, that leaves a period of four to eight years of poor quality life with complex health challenges, functional limitations and disability, loss of independence, and need for long-term care. Aging is not a disease, and aging does not have to be associated with disease. But the reality is that in our present population, poor lifestyle behaviors are associated with accelerated aging, loss of function and poor mobility, increased morbidity, and premature death. Being physically active can maintain good health and physiological systems that help us continue to do the things we enjoy and stay independent as we age. <laughs>